it has never been easier to edit short videos in Canva. Canva just launched a bunch of new AI features and there is one that I really love called Magic Design for Video. With this AI tool, you can instantly transform your images and clips into short videos with music. Now you have no excuse not to post consistently on your social media accounts. There is a new space in Canva called Magic Studio, which contains the best AI power tools to kickstart your creativity and help you be more productive. Among all the new and improved Magic tools, there are three highlights, which are Magic Design, Magic Design for Video, and Magic Design for Presentations. In this tutorial, we'll focus on Magic Design for Video. Let me show you how to ask the artificial intelligence to edit a video for you in seconds using Magic Design for Video. First, let me show you how to use it from a desktop. You're going to go to canva.com and then you are going to select a document either from social media or videos. If you're going for a social media document, make sure that the document type is a video one. Just to be sure, I am going to select the videos tab. In my case, I'm going for a mobile video which is a vertical one because I can use it either on YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels or TikTok. So let's click on create blank. This is going to open the editor and from here on the design tab you will see this section that says generate videos instantly. This is the artificial intelligence feature that is going to edit our short videos. You can see here that it says upload media and type a short description to generate videos with music already synced. You're gonna click here and this window with your uploaded files is going to open. From here you're going to choose from three to ten pieces of media that can be GIFs, you can select images or you can also select videos. I'm gonna select a mix of videos and photos and pay attention because when you are selecting your media file I'm going to select two and then when you select the third one this little section appears where you can describe the kind of video you want. This is the place where you are going to enter your text prompt. And this section appears when you have selected at least three media files because this is the minimum amount you need to create a video. Okay, I'm going to select a couple of more media files. Let me see what else do we find in here. I have selected five media files. You can see the number of media you have selected in here. So let me show you. I have five, but if I deselect one of them, I will see four in here. Now, I want to create a video with behind the scene images. So I'm just going to type behind the scenes. Also, another thing to have into consideration is that if you have selected your media but you haven't added a description to this box, you won't be able to generate your video. So you need to first enter a prompt in here and then this button will be active. I'm gonna click here and as you can see this is going to take just a couple of seconds and the video is ready. Let me go through the video really quick just to show you what we have in here. Remember that my prompt was just behind the scenes in Canva or the artificial intelligence in Canva created captions for my video. We have captions on every single section of the video and at the end we have our logo. We have uploaded this logo on our brand kit so it's really cool to see it there. We also have music and we have transitions. Now let me show you how the video looks. I really like the outcome and the music selection is also on point. I could share this video as it is, but I would like to change the colors for our branded colors. To change the fonts and the colors automatically with just a couple of clicks, go to design and then open the styles tab. I have already set up a brand kit on my Canva account. I have selected the fonts and the colors. So with just two clicks, I will be able to change the fonts 
font on this video for my branded fonts. I'm gonna click here where it says brand fonts and then apply to all pages. Now let me show you that I have my branded font on the video. The next step is to change the colors because I want to use the color palette of our brand. I have it here and I'm gonna click one time. Now we see the blue color from our color palette on this page. I could try another color combination by clicking again on this icon and see which one looks better. I think I'm gonna go for the pink option and then apply to all pages. Let's play the video one more time. I think this video is looking great. We have our branded colors and branded fonts. This is ready to be shared, but if you want to customize anything else on this video, you can do it. Like for example here, I think I would like to make this text box a little bit smaller and change the position. If you want to change the text on any of the captions, simply click two times on the text box and you will have access to this text and you'll be able to change it if you want. You can also change the music by going to elements, scroll down and you will see the audio section. Select see all and from here you can select any of the songs available. So if I wanted to change this audio track I can simply drag another one on top of this one and it will be replaced. Now let me play. Now I have a completely different soundtrack, but I'm gonna stay with the one that Canva selected for me. If you want to add more sections to your video, you can simply click here to add page and then go to uploads if you want to add your own videos or images and then drag the photo or the video that you want to add to your creation. Okay. I think I'm gonna stay with the video that Canva created for me and I'm ready to download it. I'm gonna click share, download, MP4 video. If you have a Canva Pro account, you can increase the quality of your video so it is 4K. I'm gonna select all pages because I want to see all of them on my video. And then if you're going to upload this video to social media, make sure to connect your social media accounts to avoid content ID claims. So I'm going to click here. I already have connected our channel so you can see it here. And then I'm going to click download. Now let me show you how the final video looks and then I'll show you how to use magic design for video from a mobile device. Now I'm going to show you how to use magic design for video from a mobile device. I have the Canva app open on my phone and we're going to select a new document type. Remember that you can choose either from social media, a video document from the social media tab, or you can go to the videos tab. This time I'm going to create a TikTok video. So I'm going to search for the TikTok video document type and then tap on this thumbnail. Tap on create blank. Now we are inside the editor and we have by default the design tab open and you will see this banner saying videos in an instant, create shareable videos in seconds. This is a feature that you want to try so tap on try it now. Select the files that you want to use, at least three of them. I have selected seven photos in one video and now I'm ready to type my prompt. This time I want to create a video with travel tips for Sofia Bulgaria. We recently visited Sofia for Ronnie's birthday and that's why I have these images here. It is a beautiful, beautiful city. So I was thinking that now that I have these images, I could share some travel tips to Sofia. And because we have the AI, instead of me thinking about all of these tips, I can ask magic design. So let's see what happens. Once you have your prompt ready, tap on this arrow at the bottom of the screen and it will take just a couple of seconds for this video 
video to be edited. Okay, it's ready and let me show you how it looks. This is pretty crazy. I have a full-on video edited automatically by Canva and the captions were also created by the artificial intelligence which are actually very smart. When I take a look at the video and I see the captions, they actually make sense with the photo that has behind. So this is a photo of the old town and the caption says that. When I have the food photo behind, we see a caption related to food here as well and here as well we have photos of souvenirs so this is crazy this is going to save us a lot of time now let me show you something else from a mobile we have exactly the same features as on desktop we have the transitions we have captions and we have music if you want to change the colors and the fonts for your branded ones go to the plus icon we are under the design tab at the moment and now select styles on top of the screen i have the brand kit that i want to use here so tap two times on brand fonts and you will see this button appearing saying apply to all pages i'm gonna select this button now i'm going to tap two times on color palette if you don't like the color combination selected in this case you can see that the text is blue and the background of the text is white you can open this window again and select this shuffle icon one more time and see or discover a new color combination i'm going for this one so i'm I'm gonna select now apply to all pages and we close this window and see the video. This video is looking great and now if you want to change anything on the captions select the text box that you want to change and then tap one more time to have access to the text box and from here you'll be able to edit the text. Once your video is ready to be shared tap on the share icon on top of the screen. You will have this white window appearing at the bottom of the screen. You can now slide these icons to the left to discover more options and if you want to share this video directly to to TikTok you have the option right here. So I'm going to tap on this icon but if you don't want to share it directly but save the video on your phone select download. I'm going to tap on the TikTok icon. I'm selecting all the pages and then continue. Once your video is ready it is going to automatically open on your TikTok so just tap next. You can add your caption, select a cover and then hit post. Now let me show you how the video looks like. Let me know in the comments if you think this feature is going to save you time or not. Now, the feature I just showed you, it is free to use, but it has some limitations. Remember the three magic design tools I talked about at the beginning of the video? Well, these are available to Canva free users, Canva Pro, Canva for Teams, and Canva for Education. But there is a caveat. At the moment, these magic features only work in English locales only works in social media and video doc types and it doesn't work in China. And as I already mentioned, this feature is free to use but it has some usage limitations. Canva free users have 10 design generates lifetime and Canva Pro, Canva for Teams and Canva for Education have 100 design generates daily. These design generates are across all magic design tools. Thank you.
to discover the other new magic features that Canva just launched, you need to watch this video right here. And to get a 45 day free trial of Canva Pro, you can click here or you can find the link in the description of this video. I think this is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoy it and see you in the next one. Bye!